Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about commercial cultivation. And one of the things that is used predominantly is greenhouses because it's great at absorbing a lot of light, but it also generates a lot of heat in the process. And whenever you've got a lot of heat, you need to make use of what's called a wet wall or evaporative cooling wall. Now, essentially what this is, is a wall that gets placed in one corner of the greenhouse, which then allows it to be chilled. So water will drip over it. It's either a cellulose membrane or alloy. And that air will basically be pulled from the other side of the greenhouse and it pulls it all the way across to cool that room environment. You may use some additional supplemental cooling in the room, but ultimately it works the best in very dry areas. So if we're talking about Johannesburg, it's going to perform a lot better than down in Durban where the humidity is a lot higher. But this is one way to regulate the temperature in the greenhouses throughout South Africa. And the other thing to watch out for is uh, closer to the evaporative wall, you might see some more powdery mildew. So you've got to regulate and control that. Now in international news, uh, the biggest ones for the week have been obviously on the 9th of June. Thailand is going to be giving out up to a hundred million, oh sorry, a million plants to uh, anyone who's applying. You have to apply to the state, but they will freely provide cannabis. Uh, additionally, we've seen Thailand take a progressive stance on incarcerations where up to 4,000 potential individuals incarcerated may be released over the coming months ahead. In Australia, we saw the news that um, a legal party called Legalized Cannabis, a family called the Hemp Army Party in the past, they have actually secured up to 2 to 7% of votes within different territories and states. And more news on this has been covered by Cannabis Africa. And be sure to check out Brett's article on that. Regarding one of the most conservative areas for cannabis, Japan met last month to decide on potentially opening up medical cannabis to specific patient conditions. So very keen to see what happens there. And finally, when it comes to local genetics, we've seen Falbridge once again support uh, and in bring in genetics from Humboldt, specifically the Humboldt Seed Company that's now going to be supplying that in South Africa. Excited for the future in South African cannabis. Back to you, Trenton. Yeah, you know, I think it's very exciting that uh, just to clarify, anybody didn't pick it up, Thailand are giving away a million plants to their people. The government are going to give them plants to grow. I remember traveling to Thailand many, many years ago and being super, super cautious about having anything to do with cannabis because they literally threw in jail. So it was quite a hectic situation. But things are progressing. The world is progressing. Yeah, Coming online in yeah. all kinds of places, Jeff. Which, which territory excites you the most at the moment globally, apart from here? Germany is interesting. You know, if Germany gets adult use right, like you mentioned, it's going to open up all the European territories. Um, and that for me is interesting. And Thailand for the Eastern uh, Asian continent, I mean, Asia has been very conservative, but they've got a long history, uh, especially in India for cannabis. So a lot of interesting spaces.